Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you a shoe and bag haul from the Goodwill bins. So if you'd like to see that, then keep watching. Okay, so I spent on the shoes, I got these yesterday and I spent $14. Um, at our bins here in Columbia on I think it's Wednesday Thursday Friday after 4 p.m. everything at the bins is 50% off so for some reason on Wednesday afternoons nobody's there so they just put out a whole new uh, you know whole new rows of, of shoes and I got first dibs at a lot of them um, it was me and like two other ladies and they were looking for heels which I don't really care for so I got a few things and I would like to show you what I got so um, like I said I spent $14 on all of this and I'm about to show you and then I'll go over the bags after this so um, if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw that I found a Sorel boot not two but just one Sorel boot um, I've been looking for the other one I went back today no luck and I talked to one of my friends who works there and she said that she's going to be looking for it. Um, she works in the morning so I'm going to come up there in the morning and see if she was lucky enough to find it because apparently they have to go through the bins to like remove shoes and bags and put things in the places they're supposed to go. Um, but she said that they may also have it in the back. I told her what it looked like so hopefully when I go in tomorrow she'll be like here's your boot. So but anyway um, these were the Sorel boots that I found. Um, really nice condition I mean like basically new I thought they were adorable they are I have no idea what size they are size 8 which I'm assuming is probably I don't know if that's a women's 8 or not I think it's a men's 8 because that's kind of a big 8 but I don't know but anyway so yeah I'm still on the hunt for this one I'm going to go to the bins every day and after about a week if I don't find it then unfortunately I will be selling that one shoe on eBay <laughs> um, the next items were these these are born boots um, they have a decent resale value so I do pick them up so there's these I mean as long as I can make a $20 profit I'm good but I could probably do better on these because they're in really good shape I like the um, braiding I don't know if you can see it but. but yeah so these are I really feel like all of these came from the same person size 8 as well it's a good size there's no damage you know just basic you know wear not bad at all um, these are born ankle booties and they are in good shape as well and I found these actually inside of a bin of clothing these are also size 8 so good shape good shape I've been trying to be a little more selective with the shoes I get because I've been getting a lot of really nice shoes but they have a lot of issues and so that means I have to take time to try to fix them or you know polish them up and all of that and I'd rather just find shoes that are already in good condition um, but obviously if it's something really really good then I'll do it but I don't really feel like wasting too much time doing that because I have a lot going on so all right the next pair are uh, Cole Haan they are suede mules they need a little bit of polishing up here but overall good shape really cute these are smaller I believe these are yeah six and a half the next pair are a pair of Dansko and they are a pair of Dansko mules and these are a size 40, which is a 10, I believe. Those will actually fit me. I don't know if I'd wear those or not. But, yeah, they're in really good shape. You know, just need to be, like, wiped down and good to go. 
Okay, so the next pair are a pair of Uggs. These are the Caspas. And I can't find these anywhere, like, online. It's like they're sold out everywhere. I don't really understand what the deal is with these. Um, so, yeah, a little more research to do on these. But they're in really great shape. I don't know why somebody would donate them. I mean, I guess maybe they might be out of style. I don't know. But they're gorgeous. And they're really, I mean, they're very clean. They're just basically, like, brand new. They are size 9s. They have the serial number in them. I mean, not a clue. But they're mine now. Um, the next are these Lucky Brand wedges. They are just a pair of black wedges and they are called the Miller. These are size six and a half. Um, their resale value is not that, I mean, it's like 25, 20, 25. So there's actually a couple of these on right now. That's the one thing, if there's too many items, like whenever I'm at, I'm at the bins, I don't go sit there and look how many comps there are, you know, look at all that. I just, I just buy the stuff because it's really cheap and, you know, eventually others, you know, you can either price lower or you can wait for the others to sell. It doesn't really matter. All right. So, where'd the other shoe go? Alright, so I grabbed these. These are a pair of Adidas. They are the Samoas. Um, I just figured maybe $20 to $35 maybe, if I'm lucky. I mean, they're in excellent condition. There's not anything wrong with them. Like, the bottoms need to be kind of cleaned up a little bit as there's some mud around the edges, but they're cute. And they are a size... Eight and a half. They're men's because they would fit me. <laughs> um, a pair of these are Allegria. I've never purchased this. I've seen them on Poshmark. I've seen the comps and the pricing seems pretty reasonable. Like it's it's up there. Um, these need to be cleaned up a little bit. They do have some um, signs of wear on the strap. But besides that, like the shoe itself is in really good condition. I mean, but the strap, like I said, there's some discoloration like over here, I think right here, and then like on the inside. So, and these are size, let me guess, the one part that I need is off. Well, I don't know if I'll ever figure out what size it is because it's kind of, removed <laughs> anyway I'll figure it out I usually if I don't have a size in a shoe which I prefer not to buy um, I will find another shoe and I will compare the two and kind of estimate what the size is by doing that okie doke these are a pair of BKE boots I thought they were really cute they have that studding around it and the fabric like the they're just cute little cowboy boot looking ankle booties. Alright, next we have... So this is a brand that doesn't... I mean, I've sold this brand before. I didn't get much for it. But the boots were cute, so I went ahead and grabbed them up. They're just these report ankle booties. Um, 4, 10, 19. But yeah. I mean, overall, they're in really good shape. There's no scuffing on them, nothing like that. The size is probably small. It is a size, oh, six. I always find the really, really cute shoes in small sizes. Oops. Um, I got these. They're Sam and Libby. I don't really know how Sam and Libby does. I remember it was a huge thing back whenever I was in like the sixth grade. Everybody was wearing Sam and Libby shoes that had the big bow on them. They're really cute. I love those shoes and I never got a pair of those shoes. But anyway, these are the SL Zalas. La Zalas. <laughs> I don't know, but they're just newer Sam and Libby's. They're just some little flats. Um... They were in really good shape. They are six and a half as well. Won't get a lot for them, but you know, 
they were in extremely good shape, so that's why I picked them up. Alright. So I picked up these. I don't know why, but a while ago somebody was talking about Trotters being like a really good brand to resell and I just can't get rid of the ones that I have but I still went and picked up these because they were mules and I was like well these are cute so they're just a black mule and they're Trotters um, one does have a scuff on it so I was thinking I could try to fix that with some leather paint or something I don't know but it's just a little scuff on the front I don't even know if it's worth it to be honest and these are a size 10 so they're my size so I might just keep them for myself I really don't care about a scuff um, but they are kind of cute so I'll probably just keep them um, I need shoes so. um, all right these are white mountain I had to look up the RN number because now they retail for about I don't know what they retail for, but I know they were selling for like $59 on Poshmark or something. These have a little bit of wear. I thought they were Birkenstocks that were just wore down, but they're not. But they're just these look-alike Birkenstocks. Really cute. These are size seven and a half. Um, but yeah, they have like the section where the big toe comes in and all that. So they just need to be wiped down a little bit, cleaned up if I can get I don't know if you can really clean this part. I'm going to do my best, but um, they have like a reptile print to them. And then I believe these are the last pair of shoes. Yeah, so these are the last pair of shoes. Um, these are Darion. I've never picked up the brand, but they're in really good shape and they're kind of different. Um, I think I could get maybe 15 20 bucks for them I mean I'll set them higher and see but yeah they have like that um, fabric look to it the cork heel okay cat calm down the cat's going nuts up there on his little Astrid calm down calm down calm down <laughs> anyway but so yeah that was the last shoe now on to the bags now I also picked up a bathing suit, which I don't know why. It's not even a good one, it's just zero exposure. But I was like, well, whatever. Bathing suits, they sell. Everybody's looking for them right now, so. I'm sorry if you hear a lot of banging around, but my cat is on top of his pedestal and he's like freaking out, so. Um, I picked up this hat because it was adorable. It's just a Jacqueline Smith hat, but isn't it cute? Like. I thought it was cute. Definitely not with my hair up though. Um, I picked up eyeglass case. Don't know why. Just did. And it's just a Carol Lee. I don't even know why. I'll probably get my oldest daughter for her glasses. Um, found a little Givenchy. It's just like a, um, a, a perfume bag. So it's not anything special, and I'm sure this is polyester and not suede, but it feels like suede. Looks like suede, but it isn't. Um, this is a free people bag. I've sold one of these before. I'm not sure exactly what these came with or whatnot, but um, I think I sold one for like 10 bucks or something. It's just a cute little bag. This one took a while for me to find what it was. Um, well, it seemed like there was something like a rope in here or something and I could be correct let me see if I can find what's in here oh well that's not what I thought it was gonna be <laughs> so anyway this is a let me find the tag because I don't forgot what it's called um Owen Berry it's an Owen Berry it is a suede purple suede bag it probably had like I don't know, drawstrings or something here where it folds over. I figured, you know, there's lots of crafty DIY type of people out there. I said, I just go ahead and sell it how it is. Um, and maybe somebody can, you know, add something to it. So apparently it sells the brand. Um, so I don't know. 
it's just this purple suede bag and you know I always look at the area where they have like the accessories like the belts and the ties um, those types of things because you always find hidden treasures in that like even if it's a beauty bag people will still pay good money depending on the brand you know so all right this is a Vera Bradley it's just a black bag and it was in really good condition so I said what the heck I went ahead and got it which is something I don't do often but today there was a lot of Vera Bradley um, this is a Stella and dot I did not see anything wrong with it while I was at the bins, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to find something wrong. Um, but overall, it is a gorgeous... How do you do this? Ah! And of course I find something. I think it's just a pen mark. Uh, it looks like glue. Yeah, that's glue. That would be easy to come off. But anyway, so it's this pretty bag. Um, and it, if you can see over here in this corner, there's like a glue mark. I'll be able to get that off. But, um really really clean besides the glue mark and the inside is beautiful it says always by your side there's a q-tip and some silica oh and a whole wad of bank statements I don't understand how people are so careless with the thing oh and peppermint um, people just donate like I bought a Kate Spade wallet from Goodwill not long ago and the girl's ID was in it and her credit card to Nordstrom I'm like why do people just donate this stuff? They don't take their stuff out before they donate. I mean, that's crazy. But anyway, so this is Stella and Dot. I will, you know, be listing comps on the corner. This is a J. Crew purse. It says Lockhart. Um, I had to look up the RN number because I had no idea what that meant. Um, but let me fasten this. It's just a cute little canvas crossbody bag I have no idea what the comps are for J Crew stuff um, but yeah it is made by J Crew so I don't I'll try to find comps for it this is a Kinsey not to be confused with Kinsey girl this one is just basic Kinsey it's just a purple I mean a gray ruffled suede uh, pocketbook um, very clean Might as well check all the pockets while I'm here. Alright, this is a Vera Bradley. It is uh, like a clutch. And then, this was a nice Vera Bradley. Because I've never found a backpack before. But I did today. So it's just this Vera Bradley backpack. Really pretty. In excellent condition. There's no wearing on the material everything is in perfect condition um which is weird because usually on vera bradley's the bag can look beautiful but the straps will be like you know really messed up but this one is in perfect shape so that is a good thing um the backpacks seem to do really well so i'm hoping that this will go for a decent amount and then last but not least I don't even know what brand this is. It's probably some cheap brand, but it was so beautiful I could not pass it up. And it's big, and I don't know how I would ship it unless I folded it. But it's this pretty straw um, tote. It's really big. But it's so pretty. It has this little area here. You just loop it around. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the coloring. It's like... I love it. The inside is clean. It's yellow cloth on the inside. But yeah, I just, I thought it was gorgeous. I love patchwork looking stuff like that. Or loomy looking stuff. I don't know what you want to call it. But yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, in my throat, you go, okay, kitty, calm down. My cat's going nuts. Okay, so that was the haul. Um, in all, I'm going to go ahead and calculate everything. Okay, so in all, I spent on the shoes, 93 cents per, sh per pair of shoes, because um, I spent $14 on that haul. So 93 cents a shoe, which is great, because no matter what, I'll definitely make a profit. Um, I don't know if this will tell me. 
No. I can't tell you what I spent on the pocketbooks because I don't remember exactly. I want to say it was, I, I bought a lot more than that. So I'm not going to really calculate that up. I have two more huge bags to go through, which I'll do at another time. Um, but yeah, it was like $20, $23 for the big, the other big bag that I got today. So, but yeah, 93 cents per pair of shoes. That is a really, really, really good deal. I love our outlet. They really do have great sales days and wonderful employees. So that is it. I hope everybody has a great night. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to comment below or follow me on Instagram at Allie Bethany. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.